Hello everybody and welcome once again to Mechanism 110. At the end of the last episode we built this reactor and we would also built the um, this induction matrix here so we can store some of the power from the from the reactor. Now since then I actually ran out I ran into a problem this is not running anymore and the reason for it is because I hadn't set excess dumping excess oxygen in here so it wasn't dumping the oxygen and in fact as you can see the heavy water is actually going down shouldn't be I'll have to check this in a minute and see what's going on but also here we're actually running out of uh, lithium too we've got one lithium and the reason for that is I haven't got any speed grade in speed upgrade in there yet so let's put those in I'm going to check what's going on here now so you see lithium goes up for each one of these are up by around double so we go back to the upgrades when it's actually got all eight in it'll have a speed boost of 256 so that means it's 256 times faster which is great I would like to dig that away to see what's why this water is not coming in fast enough maybe it's because the deuterium is actually now full Ah, probably that's what the problem was. The heavy water is now increasing again. So it's actually producing enough heavy water at the speed. So now we've got plenty of deuterium in here. And we also have plenty of tritium as well. And this has already been upgraded. I, well, I don't need to upgrade this one because the chemical infuser are only using this to actually start the reaction. So I'll need to put a new hole ram in here for that. And an advanced uh, tank with some dt fuel in. and i've actually moved the ports around a bit here so we can have a second port uh, a free port and i'm going to put the tank onto this free port to provide it with some dt fuel to start the process so let's quickly turn that around if i'm in the right mode which i think i am and then take that off again and let's go and check what's going on in here so on the controller so we need to put this whole room in here again to start it. Try not to forget that, it's very important. So we've got DT fuel in here, and now we're going to change the induction rate here to four. Because we're going to take, convert this now to being a water-cooled reactor. And that should be all we need to do. Before we do that, well actually, because I've put already got the ports in here, I'm going to actually connect these up together. But the first thing we're going to do is actually put down the pipe, or um, the pumps. So I've prepared a little area here, which we're going to use for the pumps, as you can see. I'm going to put eight, 16 pumps down, and that actually is not going to max them out the, the water flow required by any means. And I'm going to go down here to get some power for the pumps like that I think I need to go back another layer I don't think I need to go back the very last layer I think we'll move that out of the way I was only going to put this down for some water actually so so now we can connect get some cabling and I'm actually debating whether I should drag the cabling from here well actually it is because this is going to come out of the turbine so that should be give us plenty of power anyway what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down here and bring this all the way across. Oops, missed. I think that's eight. We'll check it in a second. Now I've already prepared the pu uh, the pumps for this, but first of all, we're going to fill this in with water. So let's go and get some water. I should have a bucket in my personal chest and there's a tank over here so let's just move the sleeping bag out of the way and get this chest, um, tank over here I generally have the the, uh, the configurator in wrench mode anyway I'm going to simply put the tank down well, I'll put it down here for the time being I think that and I've prepared some pumps already so I've got 16 pumps prepared and I'm going to actually just put my personal chest down here because it always replaces the items you've 
It's the first item that inventory treats will replace when you're doing an autofill. So I put down these. Oops, missed again. Try doing that down a little bit lower. Like that, that's good. Eight, that's eight. Therefore, I'm going to remove this one from here. that one down here hopefully get in the right place this time yes I'm going to go across this side here and then do the same thing again now of course it's slightly easier to see where they go because you've got the the join in the part it in the pipes I miss that one again come back and fix that in a second in fact what I should do is actually put the water down first shouldn't I let's do that because otherwise you won't be able to reach the the blocks is actually the pumps are a full block so we need a, a bucket which I've got in here I think so what we'll do is we'll come down here and take that and we'll put one down in this corner here like this one in this corner and then I think you need to do about two blocks along so maybe I need to pick up these pumps or go down here like this so that'll do that one And I should be able to do another one here. And you should see it starts to level out. In fact, I can even use a I can even come here and pick up the water from here now, so I don't need to come back for that tank. But you see you can't reach this, so I have to remove the um this one. I think I just have to remove this one. Because I think I should nope, I can't do that. Let's get to the last one. And pick up some water. And that will do. In fact, I'm going to have to put down some another block of sandstone down here. So I've finished with the bucket. Don't need that anymore. And put this down here if I can reach it. Like that. And then I just put the pumps back on again. And we should be ready to go. In fact, I'll do the sandstone in this one as well. Even though I've got one extra row, it doesn't really matter that much. We'll put that down as well. So that's our 16 pumps put down, and we shall now connect these with a mechanical pipe. The one thing I'm curious about, I'll do that actually here. Because the pumps have got power. They should fill up simply connect up like that. And now we're going to connect these into into this port in here. But I'll put this down. I'll put down one block down here so I can get across. So we'll dig up this bit here and bring it across. I'll just do it one block below like that and then connect the mechanical pipes into here like this and then we need to do the same and get the steam out so we're going to do the steam here and I will take this down and block later on but for the time being we want to see I want to show something specific and then I need the wrench here to be in a mode I think it I don't think it matters which mode you're in let's just try fluids no, let's try gases because this is not a gas. If I right click that there, it does change it to an output port. So it doesn't really matter which mode you're in. So that's it. So we should now get steam. I think everything is ready. Let's just double check everything. We should have in, let's go up to the top. We should have a charged hull ram. That's good. We should have fuel on both sides. That's great. And so let's give it a kickstart and see if it works this time. And there it's working. So that's producing quite a lot of power and it's also producing steam. And as you can see, this is now turning a lot faster than it was before. But the problem is going to be here is we're not going to get enough steam 
to keep this working at the right. So fuel's fine, statistics are fine, and here we go. So there's no more water, and the steam is being produced at whatever rate. So we can increase the speed of these. So let's go and do that next. Let's just check my inventory while I've got room in here that I don't really need. Um, so I'm going to take the, all these speed upgrades in here, and I'm going to put those into the, these pumps and see how it how it works, if they work better. So let's just do it like this, I think. Click on each pump, that should be the pump, and then put the speed upgrades in here. These take speed and energy. Because obviously they, they have got water in. So that means, possibly, I don't need to put speed in here at the moment. I probably need to upgrade these pipes. Oh, of course they got water in, because I haven't joined them together. That's bit daft isn't it? Let's do that next. Right, I'm going to do that here. Oh, can't pick up that piece now. It's weird isn't it? Right, let's put it like that. We can pick up that piece. So now these are all should be empty. I think these pumps will be empty now. Let's have a look. This is one I haven't done yet isn't it? Yes, the flue is empty. So we can add some speed upgrades into here and see if that actually makes a difference. I'm going to go through all of these machines and actually add speed upgrades in because I think they'll all be empty. So they can produce more. But it also means that the mechanical pipes are actually efficient enough at the moment to keep up with these. do that on this side as well. I think I missed one out. Because I've got exactly 16 sets of upgrades. A lot of actually, a lot of, there's a lot of resources to do these upgrades. You need two stacks of osmium dust, therefore you need four stacks of glass and four stacks of enriched alloy. And that's just for 16. to go back over because I reckon I missed two. Oh, maybe I skipped actually did two extra. Now you see what's happening here. Is that the fuel, the power is actually jumping up and down. So we can also do some, well it's actually keeping up reasonably well with the fuel now, but it, because the fuel's going up and down, we're running out of water still. So this one's okay. I reckon this one's okay. Same here. I think we can tell by the way the power's working with it's actually got the the upgrades in there. This one hasn't got the upgrades, you see the power's fine. And this one has got the upgrades in it. This one's okay. So what we'll do next is we'll actually add the, ah, this one here. It's one of us now. We'll add the energy upgrades in as well, because I've created the set of those as, as well to help out in this case. So I'll go through each one of these. Now we'll start to put the energy upgrades in here. And you'll see what happens when we do that. So the power is actually jumping up and down. Now it's starting to actually produce. Is it going to be steady? Uh, it's actually not going all the way up to the top now. In fact, it's actually increasing, so that's fantastic. The water's going up and down, but that's fair enough. But it also means that the pipe, mechanical pipes are fine as well, so we'll do that and try and do it on all of them this time. It's quite easy to miss. This one's actually got no energy in it, but it was also steady. Probably because the water is now filling up, because the pipes are not able to keep up with this. Let's start on. 
open these locks out down here. This will be doing the same behaviour, I reckon. Seconds to do this. You can always do the upgrades in the in the pumps before you actually put them down as well. But I want to show how it behaves when it's under sort of heavy load, so to speak. So these pumps are now all upgraded. So if the pipes are capable of actually keeping up with the water flow. Because the, the steam will take everything. This, this generator, um, reactor will take all of the water. No problem at all. So go and have a look at this now. So we want uh, heat. No. Nope. Yes, you see heat. The water is still zero, but it's producing a lot more steam. Now, next thing though, if we can do, is then upgrade these pipes. I don't think I need to upgrade the cable, actually, because that's the power in here is already full. Maybe we do. We'll find out. So what I can do to this is take some enri en enriched alloy here and simply right click the pipe and then that upgrades 8 and you'll notice it did it on both sides like that. So you don't really care about where you are. In fact the last one would probably be a bit of a waste. 1, 3, 4, 5, 6 I think. So if we could put in say 2 more here we'll do 3 then when I click this one here we should be able to upgrade all eight of those and it should be one spare so to speak or one not upgraded so there we yeah, actually two so I can remove those two now get to the right mode of course so therefore you're not wasting any of your upgrades and then we can do see how these are now coping with that oops just turned that around didn't I See now it's got no water, but the power's maxed. So everything's stable. So that's probably all we need to do. We don't need to do any more. If they've got water in, this one's got water in. And this one. And this one's sort of got a little bit. It's going up and down. So it looks like the outs this side is actually not using all the water so we can actually therefore upgrade these pipes again so to do that we'll just take the uh, some elite reinforced alloys which will then give us elite pipes but you can no reason you can't go up here as well to do that from there and you'll see that then took the water down see that side and it does both sides so now let's have a look at these pumps and see how they're getting on no fluid and it's run out of power so it's actually even using up all the power now so that means we need to upgrade the, the power cables so let's do that I want to, I've got to upgrade them to advance first we'll do that first and I'll need to do that all the way into the boiler into the to the source of course which will be in here I think that will be enough. Let's just dig this up. Oh no, some more to do yet. But I think that will now be enough into there. So now let's have a look at these machines, see how they're getting on. The pumps, I mean. So power is still low. It's not got enough power in yet, and I suspect it can take actually another upgrade on these. So let's give these another upgrade. I might have come out again. Let's have a look at this. So this time it's basically still not enough power. Now it's possible, 
but we're actually not getting enough power into here. We must be because we've got the steam. The turbine's now running, and this turbine is now produced. It's got plenty of capacity in here. The, the, the power's going up, so we're already at one point nearly two, well, one and a half gigajoules power stored in here. It's now producing. How much is it actually producing now? So it's actually creating 58,000 joules per tick. If you want that in RF, that's 24,000 RF per tick. Now, what should also be happening, let's go and have a look at this reactor here, we'll start to fill up with steam when I've got the everything maxed out. So here we go, to heat. So you now see the steam is actually building up. And that means that the, it's actually not going through the pipes fast enough to get into the turbine. So we can now upgrade these as well. Let's do that. In fact, there's just one hit on that, wasn't it? So let's have a look at this now. So now the steam's going down. So it's getting, it's using all the water and it's converting it all to steam. And then, uh, therefore, the power in this should also be, you see, this is now going much faster. This turbine. Let's have a look at what the power on the turbine is doing. It's now creating 84,000 RF per tick. And these pipes should also be getting plenty of power as well. I mean, the pumps. Let's have a look. I might even be limiting again on the uh, on the on the con on the universal cables. I'm not sure. Well, anyway, it's. It's working as basically max at the moment. I got it to go. Um, let's have a look over here. This will be full, of course, with 8,800 million RF. Let's take that back to joules. That's two, that's two million joules. So that's the steam reactor working for you. It works pretty nicely, actually, doesn't it? What we can also do, one thing I've been playing with was different ores. I did the funnels.mod, didn't I? Let's just go over here. And I've set up the, um, the digital miner somewhere I've never been to before. So that's filling up this chest. And I've, changed, I've got some sorting rules in here to sort different items. So that it basically it's sorting the funnels at the top. So here we've got some silver ore. Let's take one of those. Here we've got some lead ore, here we've got some nickel ore, here we've got some platinum ore, here we've got some aluminium ore, here we've got some more aluminium, zinc, titanium, and osmium from fun ores. The rest, is got, the rest is standard items in here. So it's doing quite a lot. So what we can then do is actually see, I'm going to have another bite to eat. Oh, actually, we will, before we go and do that, let's double check something else. Let's just check how much these machines are actually producing enough enough up to keep up with the, the demands of the reactor. So if I look at the reactor, uh, this tank now, it's full. Tritanium is actually completely full. And deuterium is also full. Just rounding errors, those little digit numbers. And this is also full of lithium and producing titanium at max rate so that's fantastic same with this one and this is actually the only one that's being used so the other one is actually not being used it's not even taking the titanium from here it's just taking the titanium from here as you can see so that's keeping up very well with the, with the power uh, with the requirements and this one's the same so we've got plenty of lithium here and it's using whatever it's using so we'll look how's this tank doing see everything's stable check the brine because it all starts from the brine let's have a look in oops I have to go to the control on this one don't I so the brine here is also full and it's producing 20 millibuckets a tick so basically we we need 20 millibuckets a tick in order to run the reactor with this injection rate of four this will also be full so that everything's looking pretty sweet now isn't it so what we can do to produce something uh, I wanted to check these ores didn't I so let's go and have a look at this so if we now have a look at the uses of these ores here we can smelt this one so we can smelt aluminium and that's the only thing we can do with that one and here zinc ore the same again titanium ore we 
can only smell this one, osmunol. Now in osmunol we can actually treat the funnels exactly the same as we treat an ordinary osmunol. Let's go and do that then. So if I come along here, I'm not sure it'll go out of this chest, we'll see. So osmunol. Oh, it did. So it's even got the ore dictionary. It actually, it's not even an ore dictionary, it's a stack item. So that'll then go off and get processed in here. In actually, I was expecting that to get processed in here because I've got a rule for that, haven't I? Indeed, I have. So this is the Osmian rule the rule for osmium ore. So that was actually a stack detail, detail. So if I wanted to change that, I could do, change it to be a different one or add another rule. And so the next item, let's have a look at what we've got on here. We've got some platinum ore. And so what can we do with that one? Um, smelt it again. That was the osmium ingots. Nickel ingots, usage of that one. Now this time we can actually enrich it to give us two. And that actually gives us a, a dust nickel. A dust nickel. So let's actually do that. So that was enriching, wasn't it? So we have to go around to this machine. I think the enrichment chamber is the very first chamber. Actually that gets processed. Lead ore. We can use the whole set of machines, even though lead ore doesn't exist in mechanism. And the last one here is silver ore, and it's the same with silver ore. So we should be able to put those two ores into the chemical induction, uh, chemical washer, chemical dissolution chamber here. So which one could do lead? See that got processed, and silver, and that's got processed too. And they should come back here. So we should get five of those into here. See, we've got our two nickel dust. We've got four osmium because we haven't got a rule for that. Fact. And the others we can only smelt. Because there is an item in, in mechanism which I haven't figured out how you use it yet. And that's for these ore dic this is for the ore dictionary stuff. So let's get rid of those. And let's take that osmium ore from um, where has it gone to? Yes, here we go, from funnels. And let's stick that into the chemical dissolution chamber and see if we get, we should then get nine items. And so we just have to set up rules for these if you want to. Ask me, you know, if you need it. I don't actually, as it happens, because there's no uses of, for some of these materials in, in mechanisms. So we've got four osmium here. We should be getting lead and silver at some stage. Actually, I'm wondering where they've got to. Maybe they're coming down in here now. Dirty silver ore, exactly. And there'll be five leads going through there, I think. So we should now have in here, we've got five lead dust and five silver. I'll move those out of the way. So we can see we get our five osmium dirt uh, ores as well. In fact, I think I saw those going across to the, the, the enrichment chamber just a minute ago. So let's have a look. Where are they now? Nope, they're in the crushing. As you can see, it's too fast. You don't even see them coming to this chest. And there they go. You can see there's five items in there anyway. So that's about it for this episode. You see, this was the, the machine I was looking at before, the ore dictionificator. I'm not sure how you use this. I'm going to have to look it up and see if I can figure out. And next time I'll show you if I've got it right. That's why I included fun ores, to get some variation of the same ores. So it's coming to night time. So I'm going to say bye-bye for now and see you next time.